Hello everybody, Chris Fix here. Just kidding. Welcome back to Half Torqued. Uh, so today, I forgot to film the intro for it. So this is after it's done. Um, and let me just tell you, you're in for a doozy. Uh, we thought we knew what we were doing. We didn't at all. Matt did apparently. But what I do know is that nobody made a video on how to install this freaking headlight delete. So we were gonna be the first ones to do it. And when we don't have a video to go off of, we have to act like we're the professionals and do it ourselves. It's scary. Very scary, because we're not Chris Fix here. So, um, you're in for a doozy. It's very entertaining. You can see that we slowly get more and more delusional as the night goes on. This was after a, uh, like, 10 hour drive to pick up something very nice. We're not showing these. To pick up not showing these. Just the little box no, down there. These. That's all. So you'll see those. And then I'll show you just a little sneak peek of that. So it is finished. Um, we got it on. I think we made it explainable. So hopefully if you have a Supra and you're trying to do a headlight delete, it makes sense. Um, it took a lot of work. And I think it's going to look really good. Um, but we have not actually put the car on the ground yet. So if we get the car on the ground, I'm gonna do like a little cinematic at the end of the video. So look out for that. But I just don't know if we're gonna have time to do that before the video's out or not. Anyways, enjoy the video. And um, we start off by taking the front bumper off. Roll the clip. So we're not exactly sure how to get this bumper off, but the goal is to do it today, and then you have a video to reference, because there's not really anything on the internet that shows you how to do it exactly. So I just got all these bolts out in the bottom, and I'll go through this more in depth. Uh, the wide body makes it a little bit more difficult to understand where the original body begins and where the new body ends, whatever. Um, but hopefully I can get this off in a second. I've, I think there's just a couple more bolts in the wheel well. Um, and then I know there's bolts on the top, so we'll see. Okay, so the bumper removal was actually pretty easy. Um, you had these bolts along the top. There were more than I thought. You Only because off that. the peanut helped. Me. It was literally because of me and peanut that the bumper came off. Yeah. So you have all these up here. There is two is me? little yeah. nuts here that you have to take off. What? My um, fingers help. It looks like this is different uh, with like a normal like OEM Super versus a wide body. I don't know that for a fact. But there's definitely some stuff like cut off here. I don't know exactly what that's about. But anyway. It's definitely from. Two bolts here. The wide body. Yeah. Two bolts here, and then you have like a bunch of bolts on the bottom uh, that's connected to this, which is. Uh, dangling now. Dangling, which I didn't realize. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've just got all these. These bolts here. Two bolts here. Yeah. All of these bolts. And then if you have a tow hook. Yeah, he forgot to take that off. Make sure you take that off. Uh, it's scratched my bumper up really bad. Uh, anyways, we're gonna try and get this headlight off. And um, that's really it. The bumper was actually really easy. And so that's all. Thank you.
Okay, so one thing I don't see people explaining very often with this headlight delete is how to put the projector light in to make it a little less illegal um, for track use only. Uh, so we have this projector light here. Uh, it is too big to do it like this. So we're attaching it to the side here. Get in here. On one of these bolts, we're just gonna put a washer and we should be able to just kind of like pop it in like that. That's it. And then we'll figure out how to wire it later. But yeah. right now, that's fine. Yeah, so you just basically want to be able to have a light when you're driving, right? Yep. That's all he wants. It must it be some kind of thing. Night. It is. And it looks like a scary eyeball. Like Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, bye. Uh, see you later. You ready? Recording. Okay. And go. So, three or four hours later, this is the final. It's about 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, it's been like five minutes yeah, to man. figure out how to do this. Because yep. we knew exactly what we were doing from the beginning. Yep. Um, I was wrong about what we were supposed to do. So, we did a whole different thing. So, first of all, we took this. These are new holes on this clamp right here, okay? So we grinded that off. You can cut it off, you can do whatever you wanna do. Um, and drill new holes so that this is closer to the flat piece. So it's like more flush, because it used to have like a big gap here. That made it able to fit in there. It doesn't really fit, but I'll get to that later. Still a little high, right? And it only really fits in the middle. And we didn't really want it to be in the middle, we wanted it to be further back. So basically, we took this plate, okay? Which was basically this like little tiny metal square or rectangle. And we bent it. You don't really, you could make it flat. You just, we bent it because it looks better. Um, we drilled two holes that would go with these two holes. Now, these go like this. And then the light attaches here, okay? So then you put the light on here and then it all goes together and looks like that. So you can do all of that or you can get a smaller light. Literally, just get the... <clears throat> cut, 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 just cut it. We're going on. Uh, and we, we, we did all this, it wasn't John. Feral. So we know this guy named John. He's really good with this kind of stuff. He does like custom speaker boxes and like carbon and stuff. And we invited him over because we were like, oh, come hang out with us. And then we basically were just like, do all this work. Do all this work for us. And um, now we're passing it off as our own work. Which I was a big help with this. I did a lot of it. I didn't see you doing anything. But Sean, right now, he's working on my super. Yeah, yeah. That's We just come in here and we act like we're filming content. And he just makes our cars look better. Yeah. Um, we take all the credit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So anyway, um, this has been very difficult and I know why people don't make a video on it because this is confusing. But we do. But we made a video on it. So this is finally a full tutorial on how to install. We haven't installed it yet. We've actually just attached the light. Damn, we're not like a quarter of the way done. No. This is awful. Can't take you anywhere, Jeremy. Good thing we're at my house. We don't know that. Drop the address. <laughs> uh, Newly single, yeah, ladies. Shock it. Newly single. Shock it. <clears throat> Newly single. Considering I'm single. <laughs> or no, we 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 
Oui, oui. We'll have to. Oui, oui. We'll have to turn it maybe. But um, so then we we uh. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you put up the subtitles. Wait, wait, wait! Don't turn it while it's tight. Yeah, dude, don't do that. Good <clears throat> guy. So, boom! Look at that! Look at that! One here, camera. Shoot. The question is, was it worth it? Oh yeah. Yes it is. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Look how it mounts. So much performance gains. Look how it mounts over here too. There you go. Is that the light completely covered? Go Leo, dude. Go Leo. So this is the OEM light. We're taking these pink clips off. There's a couple, like one, two down there. and. Uh, a couple different things. So we're gonna take those off and put them on this one, and then they should fit just fine. So. Any one of those things are like come in from the side, like a. Of course you do, and <laughs> that does it all the time. Yeah, I do it. <sighs> if you watch your videos, you know it. So I just finished up editing this video. Um, like I said, we didn't have time to get the car back down on the ground for you guys to actually see the inventory head like delete. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far it looks great. Uh, the wheels are being powder coated now. We're gonna throw them back on. And um, you will absolutely see in the next video. You can go to my Instagram at Jeremy Taylor. Uh, you can definitely see it there. I'm sure I'm gonna post posting about it really soon. Um, but we weren't actually able to, to get it on the ground to show you guys. Uh, so yeah, that is the how you install the Eventuri headlight delete on the Supra. Uh, like I said, there's not very many videos on this thing, so I'm hoping this actually helped a few of you guys, because uh, it definitely took us some trial and error as there was literally no tutorial online. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, let us know what you want to see next. Hit that like and subscribe button, and um, keep looking out for some content, and uh, look out for the new podcast episode coming out this Wednesday at 5 a.m. Signing off.